In this video tutorial, we will give introduction to XSLT. So, XSL stands for Extensible Stylesheet Language. The World Wide Web Consortium started to develop XSL because there was a need for an XML based stylesheet language. XSLT stands for XSL Transformation. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use XSLT to transform XML document into other formats like XHTML. So, what is XSLT? XSLT stands for XSL transformation as said earlier. XSLT is the most important part of XSL. XSLT transforms an XML document into other XML document. XSLT uses XPath to navigate in XML documents. XSLT is a W3C recommendation. Now, let's see how XSLT is equal to XSL transformation. XSLT is the most important part of XSL. XSLT is used to transform an XML document into another XML document or another type of document that is recognized by a browser like HTML and XHTML. Normally, XSL does this by transforming each XML element into an HTML element. With XSLT, you can add or remove elements and attributes to or form the output file. You can also rearrange and sort elements, perform test and make decision about which elements to hide and display and lot more. A common way to describe the transformation process is to say that XSLT transformation an XML source tree into a XML result tree. XSLT uses a XPath to find information in an XML document. XPath is used to navigate through elements and attributes in XML documents. So let's see how does it work. In the transformation process, XSLT uses XPath to define the parts of the source document that should match one or more predefined templates. When a match is found, XSLT will transform the matching part of the source document into the result document. Where the CSS is used as a stylesheet language for HTML, XSL could be considered as an equivalent for XML. So, this is the basic introduction of XSL. Thank you.